My name is Penny Boston, and I'm an astrobiologist and uh, cave scientist who focuses on geomicrobiology. I work in the United States, in the state of New Mexico, and I visit caves all over the world and look at the microorganisms that live there. I study what they do to the rocks and minerals and unique biosignatures that they may be producing because of those interactions with the minerals. So that's the setting that uh, brings me to uh, caves. And part of the reason that we are tremendously interested in the kinds of life forms that we find in the subsurface is for a number of different reasons. One is because they're very poorly studied here on Earth. There's very little work that has been done on these organisms. So it's an entire area of Earth biology that has only uh, been studied a very little bit. So that's one major aspect of it. The second aspect of it is uh, looking for environments that have different aspects of them that might be important uh, models for life on other planets. So for example, on Earth we have hot caves, we have cold caves, we have acid caves, we have caves with poisonous gases in them. All of these different kinds of examples uh, can inform us about how microbial life rises to the occasion and uh, learns to adapt and live in these kind of environments. One of the other important aspects of caves and space exploration is that we now know that there are many caves on other bodies in the solar system, particularly Mars and Earth's moon. Uh, we have uh, detected and mapped many of these features. And so the potential exists for future human use, for human exploration in these kinds of structures. The ability of the rock that is the uh, overlying material over a cave is very good at helping to screen out very high uh, energy ionizing radiation. And this is a major hazard in space flight and space uh, habitation on other planets. And so these natural features, because they already exist in these environments, provide us with an ability to actually modify those for human use with much less payload penalty than if we had to take all of that structure and all of that radiation protection with us. A very important aspect of being in the subsurface and, um, and using caves as an analog for extreme environments like other planetary surfaces is because it really is psychologically a transforming experience. When you go into the subsurface, for a short trip into a show cave, for example, you don't really feel the full extent of it. But when you explore caves and you are in for many days, your whole sensory abilities are different. You don't hear the same things that you hear on the surface. You don't smell the same smells. You don't um, feel the wind on your skin in the same way. And so you don't see the same way because you are restricted to the light that you have with you. And so this really is like entering an alien world. It's like going on an expedition to another planet. And so for training people to experience that as a preparation for operations in extreme environments and outer space environments, it's an invaluable analog. And we have used that uh, in many different contexts. And so I recommend it as an experience that all people who are aspiring to uh, go into space or do other very difficult tasks would benefit from.